I heard about you, Mr. Wes Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold, for heeding such ill-informed scuttlebutt. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank a doctor for that. And I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing Othello there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio mate. I don't like the sound of this. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgewood! Showmanship, John! The flourish! The bow! We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out! And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll this. I'll drop you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the cloud that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my time. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Such as? Best you alight here, dear boy, so no one sees us arriving together. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd.